Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today I wanna to quickly talk about an ingredient that's found in over 5,000 different products and something that's actually used primarily in health products, but ironically, it's just horrible for your health and that's artificial sweeteners. Now these fake sugars are actually linked to cancer. They cause weight gain, they're neurotoxins to your brain, they raise insulin levels and blood sugar, and ironically, they increase your appetite and sugar cravings. So let's first talk about the cancer. Now over the past few decades and years, artificial sweeteners have been linked to various forms of cancer. Now the first artificial sweetener, saccharin, was actually invented in 1979 and was done so by accident. Yet it took almost 100 years, right, 1970, before it was revealed that saccharin was linked to bladder cancer. Now soon after, there was more research and scientists discovered that it also caused urinary, lung, stomach, and reproductive can uh, tumors and cancer. Then came along uh, aspartame, which you probably heard of as NutraSweet or Equal, which was linked to lymphoma, leukemia, and brain cancer. And the negative effects of the brain tumors happen even faster in children. Now, a few years ago, in 2002, sucralose, as you may have heard of, Splenda, was invented. Now, it took over you know, the entire artificial sweetener market because it just tasted better. It was actually heatable and, quote-unquote, safe. Unfortunately, new research shows that it's been linked to leukemia. Of course, there are studies that also show there's no correlation to these, you know, artificial ingredients and to cancer, but, you know, it always seems to be the case, right? Then years later, and almost 100 years later in the, in the case of saccharin, it's confirmed and it's usually way worse than we thought with all the problems. So, it's up to you, but personally, I wouldn't gamble with my health when over and over again it's been proven that these artificial ingredients will cause health problems and irreversible damage to your body and mind. Now, if you don't care about cancer, all right, maybe you care about gaining weight, all right, since after all, that's the primary reason people take these fake sugars, right, to lose weight. It's, well, it's you know, found in diet foods, the drinks, snacks, and even candy. But ironically, uh, eight years of scientific research and data has shown that people who consume these fake sugars, especially in diet drinks, gain weight. And another study also showed that the longer you use these ingredients, the more weight you gain. But, you know, there were additional problems. You have a larger waist circumference, as well as a higher incidence of hypertension, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular events. Now, we don't know exactly why, but some speculate that it could be because these fake sugars actually increase your appetite and sugar cravings, or the fact that they increase your insulin levels even though you're not taking in any calories, or because they confuse your metabolism and cause disruptions with various hormones and neurotransmitters such as leptin, which controls your appetite, and dopamine, which is known as a pleasure chemical. And finally, artificial sweeteners are linked to neurological side effects. Now, they're neurotoxins. They actually cause brain problems, and such as depression or memory loss or attention deficit, uh, MS, and also anxiety. And this happens because, again, they disrupt serotonin and dopamine production, as well as receptor sites in your nervous systems. Now, let's talk about natural alternatives. My suggestion is you actually limit, or best of all, just avoid these artificial uh, sweeteners. And if you want something sweet, try a natural sweetener called stevia. Now, you may have heard about it. It's, an, it's a natural herbal extract, and it's been actually used safely in Japan for decades. And luckily, it's now gaining a lot of popularity in the U.S. So you can also try you know, what's called sugar alcohols. Now, these end in OL, such as um, Zolotol and Sorbitol and so on and so forth. Now, they have minimum calories, but they do cause uh, stomach discomfort in many people, especially at higher dosages. Or if you want to just sweeten your coffee or tea or something like that, a little bit of sugar, regular sugar, white sugar, right, is just fine. Remember, nature already has the answers, not the pharmaceutical or the food companies. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. Also, please do me a big favor and let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in my videos, all right? I have a special link below in the description area that you can just fill out and it'll go directly to me in my private mailbox and you can share your thoughts about next video. Now, this helps me make videos that you want to watch about topics that you're interested in. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.